Hi everyone, this is a GMAT problem solving practice question in probability. Concept tested is rearranging letters of the word framed as a probability question. What is the probability that the positions in which the consonants appear remain unchanged when the letters of the word math are rearranged? We are going to rearrange the letters of the word math. We want to find the probability that the positions in which the consonant appear remain unchanged. It's a probability question, so we need to compute a denominator and a numerator. Let's start with the denominator. Denominator is the total number of ways in which the letters of the word math can be reordered. Math is a four letter word. All four letters are essentially distinct letters. So they will reorder in four factorial ways. So total number of ways in which the letters of the word math can be reordered is four factorial. That's a denominator. Four factorial is equal to 24. So the denominator part is done. To compute the probability, now we need the numerator. Numerator talks about the number of favorable cases, right? Favorable cases, which is a numerator for us, is that the positions of the consonant, positions of consonant is fixed, is remaining unchanged, okay? This is the only vowel we see. So consonant, consonant, consonant. So what do we have? One, two, three, four. It's a four letter word. The positions in which the consonants appear remain unchanged. So first is a consonant, third is a consonant, fourth is a consonant. We want to look at such rearrangements. There's only one vowel and that is going to be in the second place and that is A. So the second letter happens to be an A. We cannot do anything about it. That's essentially what it pans out to. So we have three consonants. Their positions are 1, 3 and 4, MTH. Should it be MTH itself or can we reorder this? They have not said that the first is for M third is for T and fourth is for H. Then there would have been only one possibility. They are saying the consonant should appear in the positions 1, 3 and 4. They can appear in any order. So it could very well be HMT, which is a perfectly valid one. HAMT is a valid accepted rearrangement as far as this question goes. So the consonants take place 1, 3, 4. There are three distinct consonants, M, T and H. So they can reorder in these places 1, 3 and 4 in factorial three ways. So how many ways can they reorder? Factorial three ways. So three factorial rearrangements will have A in the second place and the consonants in the first, third and fourth place. So that's a favorable case. We want the cases where the consonants positions are fixed. Obviously because there is only one vowel and the vowel's place will default get fixed if the positions of the consonants are fixed, right? Even if it is more than one vowel, that's how it's going to basically pan out. Right. So three factorial or six cases, which are essentially the favorable case. Four factorial is the total number of outcomes. So the required probability is equal to probability of the event, let's call it, is equal to three factorial, which is in the numerator, divided by four factorial, which is in the denominator. Three factorial is a six, four factorial is a 24. One by four is the required probability. In one fourth of the cases where you rearrange the letters of the word math, you'll find that the consonants positions remain unchanged. One fourth choice A is the correct answer to this question. I have a bonus question for you here, right? Try this one. Essentially, this is the question. What is the probability that, no, it's not the position, the order in which the consonants appear remains unchanged when the letters of the word math are rearranged. Just changed one word in the question. I've said the original question is what is the probability that the position here I've changed that. What is the probability that the order in which the consonants appear remains unchanged when the letters of the word math are rearranged, right? I've kept the answer options also same. One of the answer options will basically meet the criteria. Give it a shot and post your answers in the comments box.